Hey guys, so um, I'm going to be talking about my life and things like that. Well, my life. I think I sounded a little bit too unclear when I said my life. So, my hair. It's falling out, guys. It's falling out. And I know that a main reason for this would be my eating disorder, but really, my hair hasn't been falling out like this in a long time. Like, my hair has never fallen out this bad before. <laughs> like at lunchtime, I was like going like this with my hair, and then I looked down, and it was like a bunch of hair in my hand, and I'm like, oh my god, like that scared me so bad. Um, my hair has been thinning out. I always expect there to be like a bunch more in the back, and it's like, there's not anymore. Like my hair is really thinning out. I know you guys probably think I'm just giving you a bunch of shit, but it is thinning out and I do not like that it's been really easy to prevent binges recently like it's so much easier I think one of the reasons is because I'm on Prozac instead of Lexapro now and I looked up like some kind of medication for depression you're not supposed to take if you have an eating disorder but I'm like kind of experimental with that I really want to take it I'm not sure what it's called I forgot about it um, but it says do not take if you are diagnosed with anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa and I'm like oh my gosh maybe it would make me, make me not want to eat at all but then again maybe it might make me extreme like want to have food like to the extremes. So I'm just sticking with Prozac. Coffee is really a main source of me not binging because drinking coffee it just it has a stimulant that prevents me from binging. So this morning I woke up um, and today ever since then it's been different. I haven't been able to control my appetite as well as I have been. I had an insane urge to binge when I woke up and it just it kept on coming up. Like I, It was like a compulsive thing like I wanted the food over a period of time. And then in second block, I caved in and I binged. I had four or three packages of Pop-Tarts. And then I had another after my binge and purge. And then I had hot cocoa. And I went to purge in the bathroom. And I had my cup with me and my toothbrush and my purse. And I was done purging. I was washing my toothbrush. I didn't fix my makeup yet. So, um, Tia came in and she looked at me like, not looking at me directly, just like at what I was doing and just frown, like, what's going on in here? Um, I just, I made an awkward face, like, um, she said, brushing your teeth? And I'm like, yep. But more like, yep. And I was just like, uh, maybe she knows that Bluey makes purge with her toothbrush because she has struggled with purging and anorexia and cutting. Yeah, her hair fell out. A lot of it did. I never knew about all her problems because I was a freshman. Like, it was weird. Like, we were both active in our eating disorders when I was a freshman. And I was sitting right next to her and we were talking in normal conversation. Like, it's so weird how you can be standing right in front of someone who has the same issues that you do. And you don't even know it. I make really weird sounds when I purge and when I'm done purging. Like... The burps I can make are so weird. I may have kept some clips of it of me burping in this video. Maybe not. I don't know. That's awkward. But like, <sighs> when you binge and purge for so long, you're used to things going up and down your esophagus so often that you just, you burp so easily. It's disgusting. Uh, my friend Kylie gave me some Skittles. Yummy, yummy. I'm not really that much of a fan of Skittles. Like, I get tired of them. These are really good. Just the original. I didn't have the whole thing. I had like probably this much. So probably like 90, probably like 60 calories. I really didn't have that much. Like I, I said no thanks at first because I was like just not in the mood to like deal with food. Not exactly naughty because I, I like food, you know. So yeah, and then she's like, I don't want them. I'm like, give me them. She pretty much knows now that if she has food that she's not going to eat, just give it to me because I'll eat it. Um, I wish everyone knew that about me because I would just take all the food. I'd be like, hey, you give it to me. Don't throw it away. I'll eat it.
Today I didn't write down what I ate. That wasn't a good idea. But I've had five Pop-Tarts, Hot Pocket, chips, lots of chips. Okay, maybe like two or three servings of chips. Hot cocoa and just other things that I can't think about at the moment. Uh, I've been binging and purging so much today in school. I haven't even added up what I ate yesterday and purged, but I have recorded everything. Oh my gosh, except for that gummy vitamin binge. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna like not even record. I'm too scared. T too much work, too confusing. Um, and too much shame would be dealt with. November 5th, I kept 1,360 calories and I consumed 3,270 and I purged 1,905. Yeah, Halloween was quite bad. I... I went full blown. I went full blown cinema on that candy. So, yeah, I'm gonna go now because I am very tired and I just feel very self conscious and I don't wanna fix my hair. So, I'm just gonna like go to bed now. Probably not. Probably go and get food with my mom when she gets home from work. And I'm gonna be like hoping she works out so then I can eat food. And to send them out and purge because I just I want to purge and I want to I don't want to purge I just want to binge I want to binge and look at this look at this la di da okay I'm gonna go now bye bye. <laughs>